okay guys, super sweet thing. I figured out how to get to Cali Cali Bay. So, we are gonna stay on this island, catch some more Pokemon. Um, I'm not actually gonna add Tentacle to the squad as of yet on a layout or anything like that, because we're gonna get all of our encounters today and then we'll add, see what the, where the squad's at. We'll figure out where we want the squad and yeah. Because we're gonna probably make some big changes within these next two episodes. Because I'll probably get the next, because there's another in route encounter after, I don't know why I'm wearing this, um, there's another route encounter after this as well, oh, I should, probably shouldn't be leading with this thing, um, oh, I can, oh, I should switch, okay, we'll go into Adele here, um, there's three encounters, I think, before we get to the trial, so I think... Instead of me adding Pokemon changing the layout, adding Pokemon changing the layout, adding Pokemon changing the layout, we're just gonna not add anything else to the squad. So right now we have a five-man squad. Um, as of right now, if we decide to replace anything else, we're gonna go into it. I haven't even introduced myself today. It is Ross here, Poke Ross here, and we are back. Back. Day one Nuzlocke. Okay, so let's get up to Cali Cali Bay. We're gonna head up right up here through Iki City. Should probably heal up somewhere. Oh no. I'll just move uh what's his face out of the way. So you jelly bro, not really here. You're in the squad, but you're not in the squad. Let's put Ed up front. Yeah, Ed, uh, we'll put Debbie Pop up front, because again, fastest, we can run away from things quickly. I don't want this, le I want level 7 just out totally outspeeding Ed and being like, heh, you can't leave. What do you think you're doing? Okay, so we're gonna head right up here. Oh, there is a Zygarde cube. Right in here. So we might, depending on where we are and how many things we have and what our types are, we, we could, can potentially add Zygarde to the squad. Um, how do I... Oh, I know how to do it. Okay. I'm dumbs. The route is actually over here. Okay. So we're gonna head all the way back up here. Is there a Zygarde cube there? Yeah, there is. So head all the way across, back across this bridge. We're gonna go back into Melee Melee Meadow. We're gonna throw up a... Bag. We're gonna throw up a super. Or we're gonna throw up a repel just to get us through here for now. And down here, there's this little crevice that if we climb on in, it's super hidden. So now we're in Seaward Cave. So this is one of our three encounters. So we got an escape rope. That's really neat. We still have the repel up, so we're gonna explore a little bit while we're here. So we can either, here's our options, we can either, Seaward Cave, there's one Pokemon we can get on land, and there's two for now we can get in water, so let's go for the land one, maybe? Hmm. You know what, I want the surfing one. You guys know me. Uh, there's a Pokemon that I can. There's this. Re there's a really cool Pokemon I can surf for, and I have the other one, so it's a hundred percent that I can actually get this. Right, 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 right. Surfing. Yeah, standard walking. Okay, so not fishing. We're gonna wear out. Nope. Okay, let's get back into water. Cool. So. There's only two Pokemon you can encounter on this in fishing and or swimming in the sea. And this might be a water Pokemon we add to the squad.
if we encounter anything. Okay, so our encounter for Seaward Cave might be... Are you a Zubat? Yeah, you're a Zubat. Okay, so there's an 80% chance I can run into Zubat here, or a 20% chance I can run into the other thing. The percentages are really off in here. Um, on on the ground, you can there's seventy percent chance of finding a Zubat. Zubats are easily the most in, uh, the biggest thing you can find in this cave, um, or a thirty percent chance of a a lowland Diglet, which I really like um, Ed, so we're gonna keep him. I don't really want to catch Diglet as of yet. We have plenty of ch chance to catch Diglet down the road. Um, in the water, there's Zubat, and a 20% chance of what I'm looking for. In fishing, there is a 99% chance of finding a Magikarp with an SOS Gyarados, um, which would be super hype, actually. Oh, that's super hype. But we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the squad to, like uh, uh, we're going after a water Pokemon either way. So I mean, I could get the 1%, which would be Barboche. With a one or with a chance of getting a whisk cash. Okay, so what do we got here? There's a Zubat. Okay, actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw up Repels. We're going to throw up Repels, and we're going to go on to the end of Seaward Cave, to be honest. We're going to go off to Calicali Bay and try and see if we can get our encounter there first. So we're going to head down here. We'll explore Seaward Cave on the way back. We have a lot of rocks to break and all that kind of stuff. But this will take us right out here to Cali Cali Bay. Now there's three Pokemon we can encounter on Cali Cali Bay. Most of the ones I want are all on land. There's two we can get on land, and or three we can get on land. In the water. Oh, we're in moon. We're in moon. We're in moon. Um. Standard walking. Toggle SOS. Okay, this is just, okay, standard walking day and night. So, or you can fish, you can get one of those three. I don't want any of those. So we're gonna, we're gonna go for our land encounters. Our land encounters, two of them are pretty cool. One of them would just be like, oh, it's another water Pokemon. So there's a netball there. We head down here, there's a Zygarde cube. We still have the super appell up, so let's keep let's swim down here. Yes, we will use another one. Let's explore a little bit first, because I think there's yep, there's another piece of land right here. Okay. Oh, there's the grass they were talking about. Okay, I was just running around on land for nothing. So all the way down here we also find a TM, a TM for roar. Right. So we're gonna let this um we're gonna let this run out here. We will not let out. So go for the one percent. Go for the one percent. We got a slow poke. Okay. So that was the kind of that was kind of the dopey Pokemon. Uh the, the oh it's another water Pokemon. There was a 10% chance. We actually got the 20% chance there. There was only one lower than it was the bag on. Uh, but we will we will we'll catch this thing and add it because it is it is higher level than the tentacle. So I, I mean I know we also have Adele and stuff like that. Um, ooh, oh, just living, just living, Slowpoke. Okay, bag. We're gonna throw another dive ball. We're gonna throw a dive ball at you. T 
two, three. Hashtag triple jiggle. What was that guy's name back in Kanto? Um. Pokemon Slowpoke episode. I know there's been multiple Slowpoke episodes, um, but it's totally episode 66. Westwood. We're calling you Westwood. That is exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for the professor's name. Professor... What was his full name? Professor Westwood the Fifth. So we'll call you Professor Westwood the Sixth. A lowland home and cooking involves drying slowpoke tails and simmering up with salty stew. So that used to be illegal in most places. Okay, we're gonna call you Westwood. V. Uh, we need caps. V. v. I. Westwood the sixth. Uh, we'll, we'll say we're adding him to the party for now. We'll just replace him over you, Jelly Bro. Again, none of these Pokemon are being added to the squad as of yet. Uh, we'll add them down the line um, after we get all these encounters. So let us throw our Appel back up, to be honest. So I don't feel like encountering anything else, because I'd only be sad. I was looking for this. This is the place with a 10% chance of Bagon. If we could have got Bagon, I would have totally chained for a Salamance. Not even kidding. We would have extended this episode to like six years and we would have encountered a Bagon. Or a Salamance. Or I'm sorry, you can. I'm sorry, you change Shellgons. Chain. You only change Shellguns here. Never mind. You only change Shellguns. But Shellguns still better than Bagon to beat TBH. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know if Bagon's. Move set because it might only know like dumb stuff being a bag on and being in shell, so it might only like, you know like harden or something like that. I mean, that'd be kind of not cool. So, how do we get back up there? It's gonna go explore down this way. There's gotta be something in this rock. Star piece. So, we're making money. We're making money. Yes. So there's a super repel, or a super potion, sorry. Um, never melt ice. Nope. Let's head over this way. We can head up this way. Okay, so we... Oh, we are out of repels. So that means if we want to catch this Pokemon, we have to make it back to the water only seeing Zubats. Or... Okay, there's a Zubat. Good, 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 good. Again, this is another water Pokemon. It's a water Pokemon I really, really like. That's the only difference. It's either that or an Alolan Dug Trio, which... It would be okay for the next one. Uh, but it wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be good at all. So we're going to go for what I want. Nope. You land like two steps off of water, which is crazy. I can hear sirens outside of my house, which is sad. Okay. So, our encounter potentially is... There it is! There's the... There's the... <coughs> the side duck. That's what I was looking for, guys. Okay. It's even got Cloud9. Okay. I know you guys think I'm probably pretty dumb. You're like, really? You're going after side duck? Really? This is all this this entire trip was for? Yes. Yes. Um, side duck is easily my... One of... Ugh, I, can't, I can't even say it's one of my favorite first ship Pokemon. Man, it's got water... Water pulse. Uh, we can't tackle this thing again. Um, let us. No, don't, don't go into battle again. Bag. We'll go straight for the dive ball.
Three hashtag triple jiggle. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh. Will be added to the Pokedex. Okay. This Pokemon is troubled consist with consistent headaches, and it's in more pain. The more pain it's in, the more powerful its psychokinetic attacks become. Um, yes, we're totally calling you Duck Dodgers. Duck Dodgers or Darkwind Duck? We're calling you Darkwind. While we're up here, we can. Let's try for one more encounter. There's a low chance of this encounter, but I wouldn't be horribly upset if we got it. Okay. So we are going to get out of this cave. I was going to explore it a bit more, but with us being out of repels, it's kind of going to be garbage. I'm sure there's a couple more items we could get. We still never saw that the other potential encounter, which was the Diglett. I know people were probably like, oh man, why didn't you go for the Gyarados Magikarp chain? Like, it's it's like a, almost 100% here. It's 99% that I would get a Magikarp potentially into Gyarados. But, I wanted Duck Dodgers. Okay, we got Duck Dodgers. Or we got Might Darkwing. Psh, Duck Dodgers. Psh, we got Darkwing. Good Darkwing. Darkwing is going to carry us through the rest of this LP. Slide past these guys. While we're over here. Let us heal up real quick. The other Pokemon I'm trying to go for while we're here is I'll check the Berry Island or Berry, Berry Fields while we're here because I wouldn't mind getting the um, Crab Brawler. Fighting type with Water type attacks would be pretty nice to add to the squad. And four encounters, four encounters in the next couple in, in these next couple episodes would be pretty freaking hype. Oh, I forgot to buy repels. What evs? There's... Oh, I missed my Cosmo. So the goal is to, by the end of the episode, at least get back to Royal Avenue. Ah, this thing caught up to us. Okay, what is this encounter? Well, we've officially got everything on Melee Melee Island. There's nothing at all we can get anymore. So Melee Melee Island is put a big X over it on the map for Pokemon encounters, we've gotten absolutely everything. Technically not, but we can't get the last one until right after the Elite Four. But it's a mandatory encounter, so. It's an Iki Island. I guess it would also be encountered as a static, so if we could encounter something else there. Okay. So where are we head? Oh yeah, we're heading down here. I'm dumb. We're gonna come around here. And... Eh? Eh? Nope, we just get berries. Okay. Do we get any uh, lum berries or paracure berries? No. Okay, let's jump on our Tauros and get back to the other island. Okay. 
Hopefully you guys can't hear the dog barking in the background. Okay. Let's head back to the next island. So glad we were able to come back. Though we didn't get the lucky egg, which was initially why we came back to this island. But we got three new encounters. And we're about to head to Royal Avenue. We can't get one on Royal Avenue, I don't think. We might. There's a low chance. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Okay, so let's get back up to Royal Avenue. We might actually be able to take on the Royal Avenue shenanigans in today's episode. Oops, not the way we want to go. Okay. So we are, are on Royal Avenue as of right now. Got little cutscenes here. Look at that Machamp flexing, flexing like a pro. Dude, I'd love to see Machamp, like, a wrestling match between Machamp and Buzzwall. Be super hype. Let's make sure everything is healed up. I think we're gonna throw, actually we're gonna throw, nah, we're not gonna throw Darkwing, Darkwing down front. I was gonna, like, <laughs> we're gonna throw Darkwing Duck up front and make it do the uh, Royal Avenue thing, but. Uh, I think we're actually gonna send, um, Ed in there because I know what Hal's first Pokemon is. I think. So let's go around here. Can we get anything for Royal Avenue? There's a ice cream shop or egg shop or whatever a masala is. There is a rare candy. I can't fish in there. Darn it. Okay, so I don't think there's any encounters we can get for Royal Avenue. Let us switch. Nope. Let us switch Ed to the. Oh to the front of the party. Let's do this little cutscene. <laughs> Why do I do this? Every time... We need the sunglasses back because we're cool. We're cool Gladian. We're cool Gladian now. Every time something brings me down, I end up coming right back here again. Come on, Null. Let's go bear our solos and the sorrows in the crowd. So we're gonna sneak in here after him. Glad you could make it. Ah, oh, I just realized who's Kukui voices. Here, I'm here today. Yeah, spread the word, oh yeah, about the Battle Royale. Come on, Rock Lee. Let's, it, it, it's totally in my guy voice. I'm the Mask Royale. I'm here to teach you about the battle format passed down Lola for generations. It's the Battle Royale, woo! But, Royale, as in, what's the Battle Royale, you may ask? Four trainers. Four trainers, yeah. You each pick three Pokemon, yeah. Bring in one big battle. When a Poke one Pokemon's trainer, one Pokemon's team can't battle anymore, the battle royale ends. Whichever trainer is, takes, takes all the most Pokemon and has the most Pokemon left will emerge with the winner. The winner. First, just give it a shot. Pick your Pokemon, let's do this. Dude, it's the Master Royale! I wanna battle, I wanna battle! You, come here. Let's slowly turn it to the, the voice from something else. You, come here. I don't. I, I had the voice, I had, totally had the voice. I'll mix it up, yeah. We'll, we'll have our foursome. Woo! Discovered, new experiences, adventure, it's all you want. It's time for the new Pokemon Battle Royale! 
So let's get into this battle royale with Hal, Gladian, and the Mask Royal. In the we're in the Battle Dome, the arena where the battle royale takes place. So for this one, we didn't actually have to choose our Pokemon because usually we have to choose three Pokemon to come in here. I'm gonna send out Ed. <clears throat> Ed's got Double Kick for a type Null. Oh, sends out Torcat. We're not in a bad position either way. So there's a Rock Ruff. We actually have super effective hints against all of these guys, which is pretty freaking hype. Pretty freaking hype. Okay, so we're gonna go straight for the Bulldoze. The Bulldoze will do the most of the Rock Ruff and the Torcat. I think we only do one turn of this. So Rock Ruff actually protected. There's a Fire Fang into the Rock Ruff. Type Null use Pursuit. Everybody's targeting down the Rock Ruff. So we're gonna do loads to Torcat. And meh, it's type null. So after that first turn, we are in the lead. So we're gonna go straight for the double kick into the type null. Rockruff's gonna use rock throw onto my neb or Ed. Raising my stamina. I don't think Ed's losing this battle, just saying. There's a fire fang into the Ed. Don't get a burn, don't get a burn, don't get a burn. There's another stamina boost. Look at this, you bring in all physical Pokemon into this battle, I will ruin you. We did absolutely nothing to Type Null. So we lost effectively like half our HP for nothing. There's Pursuit. We're raising our defense again and again and again. Um, I think the best bet is to keep going for the Bulldoze. I think that it's just going to do the most to two out of three of the Pokemon. There's a Rock Ruff protecting again. Depending on who type Null goes for. Everybody, okay, everybody went to Rockruff that turn. So Rockruff is actually at full health. We're going to take out Torcat here. Do some damage on type Null, or never mind, never mind. Uh, the Master Rail is going to steal the kill from us. Is Type Null going to steal the kill from us? Oh, he is! Okay. So it comes down to just me versus Type Null. Oh, and Type Null gets the points because he actually got a kill and I didn't. Oh, so Gladian won that. So what So what do you think? Is it easy and fun time to battle Royale? Even even have a shot at beating the real tough opponents this by this way, yeah. You were on fire during that fight. I hope you bring fire with you to the trial and burn up my trial. <clears throat> my name is Kiwe. 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 I am the fire captain. If you get to Wei, if you get to Wayla Volcano Park from Route Seven, I'll be waiting for you at the peak. I forgot about Route Seven, so we have Route Seven's encounter too. Okay, so we're gonna get Route Seven and the volcanoes encounter on the way up, and then we'll do some grinding. Let's figure out our team, get some grinding in, and then we'll take on the thing. So, Pokerus, how? How are your trials going? I, ho I hope that you and your Pokemon are working hard and having a blast. But, Mr. Mask Royale, how'd you know you were even doing the trials? Oh, I get it. Because we bear the amulets, huh? Well, have a blast. So, why are you guys here? Would you even want to do a battle royale? Because Null and I have to make our make it on our own. We don't have time. We will we'll never ever forget that. Wow, aren't you just a ray of sunshine? <laughs> I think I had a lot more fun if you at least have a good time with everybody else. You can get get more to, done together. Well, uh, goddamn! Stop talking, Hal. 
Nobody wants to hear you. Ugh. Okay, so we're going to continue on in the next episode, though. In the next episode. We have two more encounters to get in the next episode. Then we'll figure out our squad, get everybody up to par, and yeah. So I will see you guys. I'm going to save right here in front of the Pokemon Center. Um, I will see you guys in the next episode. I think we have a great team coming together. If there's anybody who wants to see the team, don't forget to leave it in the comment section down below. I will take your suggestions into... I might even not put Duck in if that's something you guys really don't want to see. But I want Duck in. So Duck will be in here at least for the couple episodes where you got I have bulk recording together. But... If you guys want to see a certain Pokemon in the team, don't forget to leave it in the likes or the comment section down below. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye!